up, fake fam? So I've gotten questions about my display room and the lighting and such. So I figured I would do a little, you know, not tutorial, but a video on how I do my lighting. This isn't the end all be all, but this is how I do it. And then I'll show you how I'm going to change up some of my lighting today. Um, so number one, I have puck lights in the top of my detoffs and I have this um, remote control that controls them. So basically it's on, I'm trying to get a good shot of it. There you go. On, off, um, then there's a percentage of lighting and it has a timer to turn it off. I usually keep them on 100% just because I like it and I'm, I don't keep them on all the time. So just push it and then easy way to light up the display. If I turned off the lights, it would um, illuminate. So let's see, watch. Turn this one off. So now it's dark in here. Look at that. Can't see anything. That's how much light it adds. It's pretty cool. So let me turn this back on. Another thing that I do is I have these lights. Now these are bar strips, LED lights, they charge by a USB right there in your computer. And then on the side, it has a button. So you push it once, it's pretty bright. Without, with it, it's pretty bright light. So what I'll do is I like to have it motion censored. So I'll push the light again. And now I just stick it, takes a couple tries. I stick it on the magnet and then when I come in um, it catches the motion and turns on so here's the other one do the same thing push it once push it twice and now it's motion censored it's it stays on by a magnet, but it's hard sometimes to get to stay. Got to adjust it until it is in the right position. So this one's not staying. It's probably going to fall off. But it's good for right this second. So I started taking off the strip lights on this because I had like six or seven of them connecting all of these bookshelves. And I wanted less because what happens when you have more um of these lights connected is as you can see like they're connected right there so it sends the charge up through this one and then it'll connect again like right there the more you have connected as it goes on the less it illuminates so i wanted a longer strip so i got two strips they're like 60 feet long to go all the way up and down this thing so that we don't lose uh some lighting so first things first that i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all this so what i like to do on these shelves is i like to tuck it in on the bookcase and i'm going to play around with a few options of getting it around this one i just ripped this one completely in half um I'm being very gentle so it doesn't ruin or leave residue. If it does, it's okay. We can easily fix that. So let's see. These rip right in half. So... I'll do that all the way up. If any holes rip, I'm going to paint them. But as you can see, there's really no tears being made. So that's good. Saves me a little bit of work. So 
So what I'm gonna do See, this is what I was talking about. A little tear right there. It's okay, we can paint over that and you won't even see because of the light in the room. It's not a big deal. Comes with the territory. Plus, we're gonna be putting lights over it, so it's not really gonna be noticeable even if I didn't paint it. So there you go, there's all the lights ripped off. We're gonna take them, throw them out, get new lights, and we'll be back when we put them up. All right, Fig Fam, so. I removed all the lights. I painted up the spots that chipped, as you can see. No more missing paint, all painted up. You couldn't tell a difference. So now, before I apply the lights, I'm going to clean around the area. So what I'm gonna clean with, I'm gonna take a paper towel, and I have this mixture that I made. It's got water, soap, and peppermint oil. The reason I use peppermint oil is what it does is it keeps little critters away like uh, spiders and such like that. They don't like peppermint oil. Keeps spiders away. Keeps my figs protected. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean the areas where I'm going to put lights so that they're ready and they stick to the adhesive. So I'm going to clean this up and then We'll get back to adding the lights. All right, so now it's time to put the lights on the um, bookcases. So here's how it works. Here's the adapter. It has a fader on it that rotates like that. It plugs into the lights. Boom, and they light right up. Okay. I'm gonna undo these just because it's easier to it's easier to put them up if they're not lit. So. On the other side of all the lights is adhesive. This adhesive sticks to the wood now that it's dried. Um, one thing that's really cool about these lights, if you look right there, okay, that copper area, you cut that right there and you use clips to connect it to another strand. So that's how we keep a continuous strand going. Um, so I like to figure out first where I'm going to start it and then I usually stretch it out a little bit. This can tuck into the shelf of my bookshelf so I like that. Um, I like to keep it right on the edge because it lights up the whole um, the whole thing. So here's what we're going to do. I do it a little bit at a time just to make sure that it's stuck. And I like to pull a little pressure to keep it tight. Don't do this fast. If you do it fast, it's not going to stick. You got to make sure you rub each part in so that there's heat that keeps it stuck to the wood. That's the key. Okay, and then this would just come back right there. I'll probably tape this right down here so that it stays in place and then it just plugs right into here. So what it'll look like right there. You can see how much it, uh, this isn't even a full shelf done, how much it illuminated this. So it's going to look pretty cool when it's all said and done. Um, so I'm going to finish putting this all on and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so I did pretty much a whole strip. We'll plug it in so you can see what it looks like. It makes a huge difference in lighting on the whole thing. Um, now what I do here, since there's not a slot to go into, I'll do it again. Since there's not a slot right here, See how this has a slot that I can go into? I thought about sawing a little slot here because it's like that. 
Um, what I did was I just was very, very tight with it, careful, and adhesed it around the corner. Might even put a little piece of tape here to keep it. Um, so, yeah, looks good so far. I'll show you the finished product after this. I know I said that last time, but I really will. All right, so there they are. The lights are all on. Looks awesome. Illuminates the whole room. Even illuminates the stuff over here. It doesn't have lights on it yet. Um, there is a little bit extra down there, as you can see. And I eventually want to string that all the way up, all the way over, all the way down um, to this one, two, three bookcases and stop here. Um, so yeah, I think it looks awesome. Very, very cool. Looks better than it did before. It's very fluid. They're all the same um, brightness. Just looks great. So hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Fake Heel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And don't forget to check out my Unreleased Wrestling Figure coloring books, volume one, two, and three, available now on Amazon. Um, what else? Oh, tinyurl.com slash figheel. And don't forget to click the links below. Like, comment, and subscribe. New collection video coming soon. So stay tuned. Peace, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at figheel and at unreleased wrestling figs. And check out my new unreleased wrestling figure coloring book series available now on amazon.com, including prime shipping.